This house is down on a really interesting site in Blair Gowrie on the Mornington Peninsula. It's a heavily exposed site with 180 degree bay views to the north and uh, 180 degree views to the ocean to the south. Coastal sites are difficult normally. Uh, this one was amplified due to sitting on top of the dunes. There was some heavy terracing that needed to happen. One of the key moments that really works well for me is the pool and the sun deck dissecting uh, the slope of the dune. It's for this reason that it creates some really good terracing and some really good activations of the site, but it creates a really private garden and it acts as a beautiful water feature all year. Our role as landscape architects is always to connect the garden to the house and whether that's through vistas from windows of the architecture or whether that's in drawing people out to the spaces, it's something that we really do enforce through our design outcomes. The alfresco areas on this house are quite unique in that the owners actually have two, one upstairs and one down. We designed the outdoor kitchen downstairs and it, it did make the space really, really functional. Outdoor furniture really serves a purpose in those spaces. For us, Tate's Furniture really suited this project. We are dealing with a coastal native project where the Australian nature of the furniture really sat well in it. We felt from a design perspective also that it really felt at one with the architecture and with our plant direction. The values that Tate stands for is we're really passionate about local manufacturing. We're really passionate about Australian design and keeping manufacturing in Australia. In the late 90s, we decided to move exclusively to outdoor furniture. And I think that was the best decision in the history of the business. There was a real niche there for Australian made, high quality outdoor products. We've collaborated with many designers over the years and one of the really important things for me is building the friendships through that process. Our brief to Charles Wilson was for a high-backed lounge chair. Halfway through the design process, we decided that it would be really good to have a, another member of the family. So we created a, a lower-backed version as well. Naming a product is always quite challenging <laughs> and a zephyr is an uplifting wind and uh, I have a sailing background so we love that connection with this product because of the tension in the seat, you know, evokes that of the tension in a, a sail in a sailing boat. The frame itself is heavy walled stainless steel tube and we use high UV grade powder coatings they offer supreme fade protection from the extreme UV light here in Australia. One of the key design details is the cast stainless steel armrest. We've used a nylon glide for underneath the foot to lift the chair off the ground so it doesn't sit in water. When I sit in the Zephyr lounger, I really feel a sense of support and I'm very proud of the result. On this particular project, the trace line from Tate was really well suited because it was a really well-made and heavy uh, product line that sitted well with uh, the heavy winds that we have here. It also worked beautifully with the colour tones of all of the timber and the stone that we used in the project. The trace dining table came later in the collection's release. We already had the sofa and lounging products and it made sense to add a dining element to that collection. We use the Australian landscape quite a lot in our design briefs. Susie, our creative director, loves all the beautiful Australian colours, rocks and formations. All our furniture collections are built to withstand the harsh Australian climate, anything that can be thrown at it. At Tate, we make products for life. We don't want them thrown out. That's our goal, is to make something that really lasts a lifetime. 